Hello again. We're back a few minutes later. I'm going to now finish off the uh, the um, sort of spot sanding with the 600 grit wet dry paper, and I found a few little <coughs> just specks of dust that needed flattening. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to go over the entire back with <coughs> with um, 4O steel wool, the finest steel wool, super fine steel wool that's available from Lee Valley and no doubt lots of other places. So I'm going to go over the whole the whole back one rib at a time and just flatten the entire surface. So I don't have to rub very hard. And now we'll just give the uh, the varnish, I don't know if you can see, it's sort of a matte finish, kind of a textured and flat finish uh, flat surface for me to apply the next coat of varnish to. So, it'll go along fairly quickly. Well, there are two ribs that are done. I hope you can get a, a look at those. I won't bore you with the entire back. <clears throat> this will take me about 10 minutes to do. And then I'll rub the entire thing down with this, which is a tack cloth. And you can see it looks kind of gray. It's my dedicated tack cloth for wiping off steel wool. Um, before I apply varnish, uh, I'll tell you about this in a second. I got a couple more J cloths, or not J cloths, a couple more tack cloths that I use to um, remove dust from the back before I actually apply the varnish. Okay, so that's for a minute. We'll be back in a second. 